Hello, I'm Atuba Judge, and I welcome you to the month of October. Praise God. Now, we've come into the new month yesterday. And listen, it's a very, very special month. You know, I, I take time when we're approaching a new month. I take time to seek the mind of God concerning the new month. And why do I do this? Now, not just that I'm looking for a cliche or I'm looking for something to say. No, no. See, if you are one who follows the Lord, every opportunity you'll find, you'll be looking for words from his mouth. You remember what we talked about last month? Yes, praise God. So, so I, I make that a practice. The moment the month is coming to a close, I begin to ask the Lord, Lord, what's your mind concerning the next month? What's your mind concerning the next Now I do that for even weeks. What's your mind concerning this week? On this broadcast, what's your mind concerning what we're about to share? Praise God. So I began to ask the Lord, you know, Lord, what's your mind concerning the month of October? Now, God leads us line upon line, precept upon precept. That's one thing you need to know about Him. Praise God. So I began to ask the Lord concerning the month. And it came in such a dramatic manner. <laughs> but before I go, before I share that with you, how how the word of the Lord came to me, can we, listen, listen, can we make demand for our daily bread? Are you ready? Join me right now in faith. Now, it's important. There's a first Monday of the month and there's a second of the month. So, so listen, you must do this with all your of your heart. Join me as you release your faith right now. Say, Father, I demand for my daily bread. Oh, Lord, for not just for today, for the month of October. Thank you, Father, for I will not miss any good thing that you have apportioned for me. Amen. Jesus name I receive therefore my daily bread in Jesus name amen and so shall it be for you you will see the hand of the Lord supply greatly for you this month like never before oh when I share with you what God has in store for you you will understand why he just made that statement I may praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So I began to ask the Lord, I said, Lord, what's on your mind concerning the month of October? And, and one day, just a few days ago, you know, my, just about a week ago, you know, my dad, my earthly dad now, you know, he called me on the phone and his normal self said, my friend, you know, so he said, my friend, do you have your Bible with you? And that, that's normal with us. Praise God. Do you have your Bible with you? I say, yeah, what is it? He said, turn in to Revelation 5 because that's what the Lord is saying concerning the month of October. Praise God. I said, okay, sir. Now, he, he, he does that a lot. You know, he calls me and said, look, the Lord laid this scripture in my heart. I want you to read it and meditate on it. We, we have that fellowship. You know, but this one was different. And I'll tell you why. So when he said, turn your Bibles to Revelation. Now, if you're there, turn it, turn, turn your Bibles with me to Revelation chapter 5. You know, and he said, that's the word of the Lord for the month of October. You know, I wondered like, how did you know I was asking the Lord concerning his word? But you see, now that's how the word of the Lord came. Now, when he said that, that, that's all he said. So I said, okay, sir. You know, we, we talked about other things and then we ended the call. And then I, I later went on to look at, okay, Lord, what's in Revelation chapter 5? And from verse 1. Now, the moment I began to look, the word of the Lord came to me. Praise <laughs> God. You see that now? Now, I wanted to get something. Now, my dad called me. I said, 
turn your Bible to Revelation chapter 5. And he said, that's the word of the Lord concerning the month of October. Now, I believe in, open my Bible. Now, that's when we had finished talking. I said, oh, w- w- let me see what's there, you know. And, and I said, okay, Lord, what's in Revelation chapter 5? The moment I opened it and I began to read, the word of the Lord came to me. Now, you see, now this is exactly what I've been talking about. A scripture was given to me by a man. Now, Paul, I, I believe the Holy Spirit ministered that to his heart. And now he shared it with me. Now, I was hearing from him. But then the smart thing to do, having heard from him, I need to hear from the Lord. You see, I've told you this, that it is when the word comes from the Lord that it comes with power. Now, now he spoke to me. Now, my, my, my dad now, he spoke to me and I believed him. Now, what he spoke to me was in the scriptures. He referred me to the scriptures. Now, I opened the scriptures. So, I heard him say a word. I went to the scriptures. While I was looking at the scriptures, the one who spoke in the scriptures began to speak to me. Are are you getting this? (laughs) I don't know if you're getting this. He began to speak to me. And, And thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen. Something is about to turn around in your life in in the most, now hear me, the most dramatic manner. Oh, you don't get what I'm saying. Something is about to change in your life. And it's not going to happen normally. It's not going to happen. I mean, it's it's not going to it's not going to be the normal things that you have known. It's going to be dramatic in a dramatic manner. When I mean dramatic manner, your mouth will open like, oh, <laughs> praise God. Yeah, you know how I've been I've been believing God, but. <sighs> Oh, praise God. Yeah, because I told you the Lord began to speak to me. And the things he began to say to me, like, hold on. <laughs> now, now I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I'm still meditating on these things and meditating on them. And some of it I'm just hearing for the first time. Now, when I mean I'm hearing for the first time, I've read that scripture. I've read that scripture. You know, when when you begin to read, you can actually just close your eyes and recite the whole chapter. Yeah, but, but that's the Bible. Now, it's not the same as the word of the Lord coming to you. Now, what does the word of the Lord do? The word of the Lord begins to teach you about what is written in the scriptures. And then you're like, ah, hold on. Now, your mind begins to shift from the norm, the tradition, and the teachings you have learned from men. Even when I mean from men, even your own personal reasoning. Because we all have brains. So when we study, we, we can form opinions. But doesn't necessarily mean that that opinion was from God. Most times, the opinion is shaping by what you have heard before, what men have taught you. Now, but when you hear the Lord speaking and teaching you about that same thing, they're like, okay, praise God. Now, let's go there and look at this. Now, I'm going to take this gradually this whole week and and see where the Lord's going to help us with this. So, I'm not going to rush this, but I'm introducing this right now. Praise God. Now, it says, And I saw, verse verse 1, chapter 5, book of Revelation. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside. See, he says, I saw one who was sitting on the throne. Now, he had talked about that one in in chapter 4. One who was sitting on the throne. I saw that in his right hand was what? A book that had writings inside and on the backside, right? 
Okay. Sealed with seven seals. This book was sealed with seven seals. Now take note of that. So this book was so special that it was sealed up with seven seals. And then it says, And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seal thereof? Now this book was sealed. And it was in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. Now that's what John saw. And he heard a loud voice of an angel. So who is worthy to open the book? And to losing the seal. Praise God. And no man, take note of this, and no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. Nobody. Nobody in heaven, nobody in earth, nobody underneath the earth. No one was what? Able. <laughs> Verse 4, and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon, not even to look. Not it was, let me try to see. No one, praise God. But that's not where the story ends. And one of the angels said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. Now, this is what the Lord began to say to me. Hey, I pray your heart is open to receive the word of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord began to say to me, He says, Listen, the season for the opening of the book has come. Now, you see, I want you to get something and, 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 and understand. It. Now, what happened here, what John saw here, I'm going to explain to you in the coming days. I'm going to take time to explain a lot of things to you. But like I said, the moment I got here, the word of the Lord came to me. Now, you see, the Lord referred you to a scripture. He's not just saying, read the scripture and say, Oh, thank you for your Lord, oh Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. No, no. He, he leads you somewhere. So when you go there in obedience, he will speak to you there. Are you getting me now? When the Lord says, for example, when the Lord told um, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, you know, he will, he will tell them, go to a certain place. He will say, go to, over to the potter's house. I want to speak to you there. And then he goes over to the potter's house. He doesn't go to the potter's house. Potter, yes, the Lord said I should come here. It's like you have a word for me. No, the Lord said, I will speak to you there. So when you get to the potter's house, what do you do? Wait for the word of the Lord. Why are you looking around the potter's house? Why are you observing what the potter is doing? Why are you, you know, like, ah, this, this, no, nah, I wish... I wish this place was neater. Why are doing all that? Be expectant. Expectant of what? What the Lord is going to say to you. Now, the Lord's going to use an instrument in that place to speak to you. And that's how the Lord speaks. You say, but, but, but you already heard the Lord say, go over to the potter's house. Yes, that's the Lord that spoke to you. But then he's not told you what he wants to tell you yet. So the Lord, you can hear the Lord say, turn Turn your Bibles to Ezekiel chapter 1. Okay. You open Ezekiel chapter 1. Now, when you are reading Ezekiel chapter 1, don't be reading it and say, hmm, this is what the Lord is saying to me. No. Why you are reading, read with expectation to hear what he is going to say to you. So sometimes when we say God speak to us through the scriptures, I want you to understand what we are saying. We are not saying when we start reading the scripture, we're not saying, ah, this is the Lord that has spoken to me. No, sir. When we read the scripture, we are expecting to hear his voice. 
So while you're reading and reading, you get to a place, it might just be a line you read, and then the, the word of the Lord will come to you. Now, what do I mean the word of the Lord? I say, ah, hmm, wow, this verse is speaking to me. What is it saying? Not what is written therein. There are things that begins to open up to you. So like I said, now when I got to this point, when he says, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. The word of the Lord came to me. And the Lord said, The season for the opening of the book have come. And then Dinah, I had a bustle. I'm so excited. You see, as I'm sharing with you now, it, it's coming afresh again. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's so sweet to be in fellowship with God. I'm telling you, this is undescribable. No man can describe it. You can only experience it yourself. I'm telling you the truth. You can only experience this yourself. When, when the word of the Lord comes, you know, sometimes people are like, how does God speak? Man, man, in as much as I want to help you, I, I, there is no way I can make you feel that experience until you feel it yourself. How he brings you knowledge that blows your now when I mean blow your mind, you know what I'm talking about. Like, wow. Never thought about this before. So the Lord began to speak to me and said, Why do you think that book was so important and no one was able to open the book or lose the seal? What was in that book? Of course, say Lord. I'm listening. <laughs> I don't want to try guessing. I am listening. And then the Lord said something striking. I am a man. He said, do you know that, you know, you know, when you read, we're going to read this tomorrow. We're going to start looking into it. When he says the seal, you know, he opened the first seal and things began to happen. Disaster. And, you know, we, we, we have thought that that was God's judgment. God was judging the earth. No. I heard the Lord for the first time say to me, no, that's not God judging the earth. That was the resistance to the opening of the book. Right. How? Thank <laughs> you, Jesus. So when the Lord is saying to you this month that the season for the opening of the book has come. Now that book carries the very truth that was from the beginning. That book is, has never been edited. That book carries God's plan, original plan for your life. So when God is saying the season for the opening of the book has come, what is God saying? The Lord is saying in this month of October, he is opening up that your book. The unedited one. <laughs> and and Ah, am I worthy? Am I worthy? Hey, 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 listen, 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 listen. What did one of the elders say? Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah and the root of David had prevailed to open the book. So you are not the one even opening the book. Jesus is the one that's opening your book. I said the Lord spoke to me. Now that's what I'm sharing with you now. Your book is being opened in the month of October. The unedited book that God wrote concerning your life before the world began. It's being opened in this month of October. And guess what? Hayadabrekenehisha. <laughs> All hell is going to break loose. But guess what? 
you have prevailed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now that's what I want you to hold on to even as we close today. You have prevailed. How did you prevail? Jesus prevailed for you. I want to pray for you. Hear me. The book is opened. Your book is opened. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I pray. I am Nahasha. I want you to say these words with me wherever you are watching right now. Say, Holy Spirit, I believe in your ministry. Please guide me into the very truth of those things written in that book consigning me. I would follow as you lead in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Oh, glory. Listen, I'm going to continue tomorrow. Don't miss any of this week's broadcast. And help me share so many more people will be blessed. God bless you. I love you so much. And it's going to be a great month. Bye.